Good afternoon and welcome to today's fantastical episode of Random Guy number six. So today what we're going to be doing is painting cabinets. We have these spanking new cabinets um, and these doors uh, I'm actually going to be taking off and completely getting rid of because uh, I'm actually making new doors for these and new doors for the cabinets that are currently installed in the kitchen. So these beautiful things gotta go. Uh, all I'm gonna be doing today basically is just showing you how to paint and prime um, or prime and paint uh, your cabinets. We're actually gonna be doing the insides, uh, the outside, anything that you're actually gonna see. And uh, I'll, uh, first thing I need to do is break these all down, uh, rip everything apart so I can uh, have access to anything you're actually gonna see. So I'm going to go ahead and start breaking these all down and when I get to the ready to paint uh, we'll start doing some uh, tips and tricks. So I've got all of the doors off, all of the hardware is removed. As you can see all the drawers are out, all the drawer hardware is removed and uh, we are ready for the next step. Now before we start sanding and getting into all that you're going to want to kind of check and see the material that you're trying to paint and uh, maybe do a little test. So I did a little testing on one already. Uh, but I kind of want to take you through uh, some of the issues that I ran into and the things that you're going to run into when you try to paint the inside of your cabinet. So let's look. This looks like a nice, beautiful wood grain. Um, it's not. It's uh, particle board. Um, and this is so thin that I'm pretty sure it's basically just like a paper sticker, uh, which is notoriously hard to paint and I will show you exactly why. So if you take a little bit of paint and whoop, and you paint it on there, what ends up happening is it doesn't stick and it starts to fisheye and that will happen shortly. And you can start to see kind of through here and now it's starting to do it over here. So that is basically your paint not sticking. So always test and see exactly what you're working with. Now, I've already tried a little bit of sanding. Um, I tried some TSP, I tried alcohol um, to see what would be the easiest and fastest. And to be honest, uh, the fastest way is actually going to be using a sander. So, Sometimes that's just what you're going to have to do to get the surface uh, prepped in a way that it will take the uh, primer. So the next thing I want to address is in shipping, you'll have they staple right into the wood. Now they do it into this part of the wood, uh, which these ones, this side of the cabinet is actually going to be um, exposed. So we're going to fill that with either like a... Uh, water-based wood putty or caulk works fine too um, but they also want to do it right in your finished wood so when I primer this maybe those will get filled uh, but if they don't we will uh, put some caulk or some putty in those as well so I'm gonna go ahead and get sanding on all this stuff and uh, then we'll be ready to paint
so everything is sanded, uh, vacuumed, and wiped down. Um, now we're ready to throw a little bit of primer on. So this is the primer that I like to use, which is some one, two, three primer. Um, we are painting the cabinets white, and you're noticing that I'm using gray. Now, there's a reason for that. You're gonna have umpteen products on the market, and they're all gonna tell you this and that, and this and that, about the wood bleeding through white paint, which it will. And you don't need their special primer. All you need is something with tint in it. So we're putting this dark gray on, and then we're painting these white. So we're giving the cabinets three coats of white anyway, so it's going to cover over the gray just fine. And the tint keeps the tannin of the wood from bleeding through onto the white. It's literally that simple. So first thing we're going to need to do is mix this stuff up. Of course, I just popped the lid back on on accident, so I just got a little screw here. Just gotta mix it up till it's all the uniform color. Make sure that your paddle is touching the bottom and scraping along the bottom of the can because there's always gunk on the bottom, no matter what you do. So the more you can scrape up and mix in, because uh, it is just it's pigment and it's paint, it's just stuff that needs to be remixed into the paint basically. that all good now this is still my favorite bucket because um, it attaches to ladders and all kinds of other crazy stuff it's got this little magnet for your uh, for your brush so when you dip it in here then you just set it aside and it's out of the way uh, in addition to that it's just super simple to use. So we shouldn't need a whole ton of primer. Put that there. One thing you need to remember to do, all rollers, you need to get any lint and dirt off of these things. So you can just grab any masking tape or whatever tape you happen to have on hand, whether it's packaging tape or whatever. Put it on your knee like so. And this will make sure that you don't get uh, like the little fabric uh, fibers and uh, fabric in your paint while you're painting along. So do it a few times. Whoop. This is one of those things that the more the better. It's never going to hurt to do it too much. start painting. Now if you're a novice painter, here's how I suggest you paint. Get into the corners, do the corners first. If you get some on on the other edge out here, just kind of feather a little bit. This is for if you're like really slow. Then you're not going to have like a hard line there uh, when you try to do this next one. So we'll just go through here and these edges. You don't have to be perfect, but try and feather it out a little bit just so it doesn't leave uh, marks. But we are still doing the sander or sanding. Sorry, this is still just the primer coat. So if you do get uh, runs, drips, like big edges and stuff, uh, we can sand that down before we start doing the finished paint and stuff like that. So try to be careful, but. You know, if you have mess ups, it's not hard, difficult to fix. Now, once you got that outside done, you can just take your roller. Do the inside.
You can see I'm not perfect either. You see I got a little bit on this edge here. We can just take the roller over that, wipe that off a little bit. And then I got a little bit of excess down here. So I'm just going to smooth, smooth that out a little bit just so we don't have any hard edges. This way when you paint over it, you'll never even see it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue and paint the rest of this. As you can see, I got the first coat of primer on everything, um, but it is a little see-through and I'm a little anal. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, another coat of primer on everything just so I know that I got a really good coat of primer and it'll be all nice and easy and smooth for the uh, white paint. <music> As you can see, all of the cabinets now have two coats of primer on them and they're all looking very even, very nice. Uh, now the next step is going to be taking care of the imperfections. Um, if there's anywhere that uh, paint kind of uh, bunched up or I have runs anywhere, we'll just take a little piece of sandpaper and sand those down. And the other is going to be these gaps and cracks kind of in uh, random places because they're cheap cabinets um, but we can make them look like billion dollar cabinets so basically those what I'm going to end up doing is just taking some caulk and running it into those gaps smoothing it out making it look nice so uh, let's start doing it try to keep your bead of caulk thin depending on the crack size now don't be too worried about it being perfect or having uh, imperfections or any kind of uh, stopping if you need to stop to re-squeeze the trigger uh, because we are going to make it smooth by just running our finger down it. So as soon as you get to the bottom here, now we just grab our finger and go up to the top and give her a good swipe. And that's pretty much all you need.
As you can see behind me now, the caulk is all dry and we are ready to start actually putting on some real paint. Uh, now, first thing we're going to talk about is rollers. Uh, because this is a super smooth finish, we're going to need a foam roller. Uh, but the only problem with these rollers is that they have this round lip on it, which makes it a little bit difficult to get all the way into the corner and kind of feather things out. Um, so what I've taken the liberty of doing is basically just cutting that end and making it kind of flush. Uh, this way I can get all the way into the corner. If I have brush marks, uh, I can feather them out or make them disappear by getting as tight as I can. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is the brush, standard paint brush. I think this is not even the best. It's the overall average. Uh, you don't need anything special or crazy or expensive. Um, and finally, paint. Now, we're going with a Clark & Kensington High Gloss. Uh, this is a fantastic paint. Um, I will stand behind Clark & Kensington all day, every day. Uh, the paint is fantastic. It's probably two-thirds the price of Benjamin Moore and the quality is just as good. Um, same, it's still it's on par with Sherwin-Williams most expensive paint and it, again two-thirds the price. So you want a good paint uh, for a good price this is what I would choose uh, for inside your house, outside your house, pretty much everywhere you want to paint something. Um, Clark and Kensington I will get back behind it uh, I painted with it for a lot of years and I've tried Benjamin Moore. I've tried Sherman William paints. Um, I know what they all cost and this is the one you want. Anything that says Clark and Kensington. You have to get it at Ace though. So, um, and no, they're not sponsoring this. Uh, I mean, I wish they would, but <laughs> all right. So uh, I'm going to mix up the paint. I don't need to show you that again. And uh, we're going to start painting these up. motion cameras going now because I wanted to have a backup and they both died <laughs> so basically I got the first coat done uh, these you didn't get to see me paint any of these or uh, any of these uh, but I'm gonna reset everything up add extra battery packs and cross your fingers that they don't die before I finish so I'm gonna go ahead and put the second coat on here right now and uh, keep going
that's two coats of primer and two coats of paint. Um, I'm getting tired, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, I did say I'm putting on three coats. So the third coat of the paint is actually going to go on after they're installed. So, because I'm going to get these and I'm going to bang these around. I'm going to have to drill some holes and all this other kind of stuff. So when I get these actually installed, I'm going to paint all the cabinets in the kitchen and we're going to put all new doors on everything, all new drawer fronts, and uh, it should look pretty nice. So, um, you know, just to give you a shot of at least how it looks now, like I said, I still got one more coat. I think they're looking okay. And yeah, um, please like, please subscribe, please share. Uh, I need a lot more subscribers um, because as I said, I'm still trying to do this whole thing for free, uh, going around to people's houses that need it, um, you know, need any kind of work or help. Um, so the more subscribers I can get, the more this is going to help me just go out and uh, be able to afford to do it because <laughs> everything's on my own dime right now. Um, but I would like to, uh, to have, you know, the income from the ad revenue just from YouTube or, I mean, if you just want to help, feel free. Uh, you can send cash or money or whatever you want on, I think, Twitter or, I think that's it so far. It's just Twitter. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Anyways, you ain't got no money. You don't want to help that way. I don't care. I'm not about that life, so... If you just watch the video, subscribe, get your friends to subscribe, just help me out, get me more subscribers so I can actually get monetized for this and, uh, and things will be fantastic. And hey, maybe I'll be coming to your house or your grandma's house or your cousin's house. I don't know. Somebody's house, you know. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, as soon as I get ready to install these, we'll be doing another video.